Today I'm going to show you guys how I harvest by hand our Salanova lettuce. There's a little bit of nuances to it and the way you cut it is very important on how it regenerates. I'm going to get into all that and more coming up next on The Urban Farmer. When we're harvesting Salanova, what we're doing is basically just cutting it and leaving a couple inches behind. So what you're looking at right here is what was harvested a few days ago. And the basic idea is you still want to keep the head intact, but you also want to have enough surface area of the core so that it can regenerate and photosynthesize. That's the key. If you cut it right down to the ground, it won't regenerate. You've got to leave enough space behind, pretty much just like this. You can see it's a couple inches, like inch and a half or a couple inches off the ground. That's what you need to have it regenerate. Like I said, if you cut it too low, there's not going to be enough room to photosynthesize. And what happens is it kind of just rots and dies and doesn't regenerate fully. So I'll set up a tripod and show you guys how I harvest this. Okay, so you'll notice as I was harvesting there, with my left hand, I, I usually when I'm harvesting, I work because I'm right-handed. So I have my right hand is holding my knife and my left hand is grabbing the greens. I grab with my left and I kind of get my hand under the head to kind of, because it they're, they're widened out like this. So I want to kind of pull it up like this so it's easier to cut in one cut. And that way it's nice and clean. And you'll notice that I work from left to right. So I go with my left hand, bunch it, cut it, put it in the tote. Bunch it, cut it, put it in the tote. When it's this thick, I'll, I'll, I'll basically every, every head I cut is a hand move. If you're cutting it at an early stage, which is sometimes necessary to do, then you might, you could bunch up a couple heads worth of uh, cuts in your hands before you put your hand back in the tote. You know, the basic idea with harvesting is you want to do the least amount of movements back and forth. Like I, go, I, I visit a lot of farms in my travels when I'm teaching and I often will see people out in the field and they're literally picking off one leaf at a time and moving their hand to the bin and you don't want to do that. It's all about the least amount of effort for the highest amount of output. And that's, that's the basic idea here. It's the basic idea with everything we do on our farm, whether it's harvesting or planting, you always want to maximize your efforts. So, you know, here, I, I just harvested about, actually I just checked it, six feet. I got six feet of bed there. This is well over 10 pounds. That feels like actually like 15 pounds of lettuce. And right now this is kind of at its max, like it won't really get much more bigger than that. It'll thicken up more, which will increase the yield, but it won't get much bigger. And uh, you know, that is a huge yield. So, you know, quantify that by 50 feet. Say I got six feet from, uh, or 15 pounds from six feet. Well, then that's maybe around, let's just say it's 20 pounds per 10. I'm, if it, it, on a full bed of this, I would get about 100 pounds of lettuce. That's a huge yield. 
This goes into salad mixes sold anywhere between eight to $12 a pound, depending on where it's sold and what units it's sold in. So that is one profitable crop. So if you guys found that helpful, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. Check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com, where we get into a lot of the more of the nuances of crops like this and how we grow them. And check out my book, TheUrbanFarmer.co. And if you'd like to make a, donate, uh, a donation to the show, it's always welcome. And thank you so much to those of you that have. It's, I really appreciate it. And it helps me keep making this content for free. And that's the whole idea with my show is I want to get this information out to a lot of people because I truly believe that we can change the food system not by scaling up agriculture, but by scaling up the farmers. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.